In this illustration, we'll discuss a case when two trains crossing each other. We are given that a train A crosses a station with a speed 40 meter per second and whistles a short pulse of frequency 360 hertz. And another train B is approaching towards same station with the same speed along a parallel track and the separation between the tracks we are given as 99 meter. Now it is saying when A whistles at a station, B is at 152 meter away from a station. If sound speed is given, we are required to the frequency of pulse heard by driver B. Here uh, we can first draw the situation at an instant when B will uh, hear the pulse. Say if these are the two tracks I am redrawing. This is the initial position of B and this is the initial position of A when it was at a station. Both are moving at a velocity 40 meters per second and uh, the initial separation of B and A along the tracks is 152 meter. So, when A will produce a pulse, uh, it will take some time for sound to reach B. Say after time t, B will receive the pulse and B will reach this position. Then the sound will be traveling in this direction in time t if sound velocity is 330 meter per second. This distance can be written as 330 t and the distance B has traveled before it receives the sound will be 40 t because its velocity is 40. So, here uh, we can use in this triangle Pythagorean law as this 99 meter and this distance we can write as 152 minus 40 t. So, we can write if uh, driver of B hears the pulse after t seconds. This implies from figure we use 330 t square must be equals to 99 square plus 152 minus 40 t whole square. Now, I leave it as an exercise for you to solve this uh, quadratic equation and uh, we can write on solving this equation we get I am directly using the result you will get the value of t is equals to 0 0.5 second. That means after emission of pulse in a half second B will reach somewhere where he will receive the pulse the driver of B will receive the pulse. At this instant A would be at some other location, but we are not interested in that because we already studied in concept videos that uh, we apply Doppler's effect at two positions. One is the position from where source emits the pulse, which is this position, and other is the one where observer receives the pulse. Here both are moving at same velocity, and if this angle is theta, then the value of theta can also be calculated. And if we calculate the distance of B. From a station along track is this distance is 152 minus 40 t and t is 0 0.5. So, this is equals to 132 meter. So, here the value of 10 theta we are getting is 99 divided by 132 that is 3 by 4. This implies the value of theta we are getting is 37 degree. So, if we calculate the apparent frequency received by B is this we can directly make use of the relation of Doppler's effect as n apparent is equals to n naught multiplied by here uh, we can consider source velocity and observer velocity components along the 
line joining source and observer position from where source emits the pulse and observer receives the pulse. So along this line, we can use the component as for t cos theta, and this will also be for t cos theta. So as source and observer both are approaching each other, here we can write n not multiplied by three thirty plus forty cos thirty seven degree divided by three thirty minus forty cos thirty seven degree. On numerically solving this, we'll get it n not multiplied by this three sixty divided by three. Hundred and uh, if we substitute the value of n naught here, uh, initial frequency of pulse is given as three sixty. So this three sixty multiplied by three sixty by three hundred. So here uh, we also cancel this three. This twelve and thirty six multiplied by twelve here will be four hundred and thirty two hertz. Then that is the result of this problem.